Welcome back to the channel guys. Today we've got a new uh, quad I just built. Uh, it's the Armitan Tadpole 3 inch. The, uh, it also comes in a 2.5 inch. Uh, but I've been waiting uh, since uh, Johnny5 uh, came up with the review there. Uh, I know the guys at Armitan uh, had talked about producing a 3 inch version um, depending on the demand for it and they have they actually released it uh, a while back uh, got mine for a father's day present so was excited to go ahead and build this one on up um and i'll go over you know kind of the text and the specs and, and how i went about my build so uh like i said it's running a 3.5 or i'm sorry three inch prop um i'm running the uh, hq three by 1.5 by three right now i just uh, just had a set of these laying around. I didn't really care for those as much as the gym fan um, 3016s on my uh, TP3 toothpick. Um, but I had a fresh set of these laying around, so I figured I'd give them a go there on this one. Um, I probably want to go with a more aggressive prop, but I mean, I probably get a better flight time with this uh, lower pitch. Um, also got some HQ, I think it's three by three by threes. Uh, so I may give those a go here in a bit. I got a new camera, first time you'll see it on the channel. Uh, it's been out for a little bit as well. It's the Foxier Toothless 2 Nano. This is the 2.1 version, the Starlight version. So it's good for low light. I do fly sometimes, uh, you know, at dusk uh, and a little bit later. So, I uh, also like that color, that kind of the neon green, greenish yellow color. If you've been a follower of the channel for a while, you know I use a lot of Emacs products. Um, for motors, I went with the Emacs uh, 1106, 4500 kV. So I'm going to run this on 3 and 4S. Um, I probably won't even need 4S, but you know it's capable. Um, so these are reasonably priced. I believe they're about $10 a motor. Um, so, I mean, uh, you know, that's well within the budget. Um, for the, for the, the all-in-one board, the, the toothpick board, I went with the JHEMCU, uh, the 20 amp version. This is the second quad I've built with the 20 amp. Um, I had one 30 amp blow a fat uh, catch on fire. It's actually the only the only fire I've ever had, uh, but I built up this uh, twiglet with, uh, this is a run 20 amp, haven't had any problems with that, so uh, it's reasonably priced. I think I got it for like $29 on uh, Cyclone FPV. I put a link there in the video. They also have it at uh, Race Day Quads. Um, Pyro's got them, I believe I've gotten one from Pyro. Um, you know, they go anywhere from, like I said, 29 to about, I believe, 33. I think FPV Cycle, uh, they only have the 30 amp, and I believe it's like 37 maybe. But, I mean, I'm not going to be pulling a whole lot of amps with these motors. I went with a taller size stator. So, uh, instead of giving you, like, that linear power band, it's going to give you more top end, kind of like uh, if you're road dirt bikes. You get a two stroke, uh, it's gonna give you that higher power band there for you. Um, for the VTX, um, I went with the Happy Model uh, Whoop VTX. Uh, it goes up to 200 milliwatt. Uh, I believe I got these for about $9 of VTX. I bought a couple of them. Uh, it's like the same as the Diamond VTX, if you're familiar with it. It comes in the Larva X and some other Happy Models quads. But uh, it doesn't have uh, onboard DVR, so it's lighter, cheaper. Um, I went with that one. One of the reasons why I went with this over um, a Tramp VTX, with the Tramp protocol, is the last few Tramps I've set up... Uh, I haven't really switched any uh, quads over to 4.2. Um, mostly I run, especially on micros, I like to run 3.5.7. It's a sweet spot for me. Um, been having issues there with the F405 boards. Um, 
with uh, the Tramp protocol. So this one's running Smart Audio, you know, TBS protocol. It always uh, always works for me. Um, for the antenna, also went Emacs. It's the Emacs Nano, right hand circular polarized. The that one's red. If you go left hand, it's white. Um, got an XT30 on here, and it's a smaller. Um, let me see what's. I'm trying to think of what spec capacitor it is. Anyway, it's a smaller capacitor on that. It should help filter out a little bit of noise there. I know it's better to mount them directly on the pads, but you know it's just easier and nobody wants to deal with that up there. It's not like we're running success or anything. Um, it comes with these battery straps. There's two of them. I'm just probably going to run the one. Armitan battery strap. Um, for the receiver, you know, uh, I went with the Crossfire Nano. And antenna wise, I was thinking about running another Mini Mortal T, but I haven't really had a good experience with those. I know uh, the V1, uh, Kebab just released a V2 that's officially uh, endorsed by TBS. Um, I haven't had a chance to try that one out. And, uh, there's another, um, another style. I know Newbie Drone sells them, uh, smaller Immortal T like antenna. But with this one, I just went with the traditional crossfire antenna with the two, um, active elements. And I've always had good performance on those on micros. So plus that's cheaper. It's like $25 for the regular Nano RX with this uh, antenna, and then uh, the one with the um, Immortal T uh, is it's like thirty dollars, so a little bit more reasonably priced. Uh, if you're not familiar with Armitan, they do have a lifetime warranty on their frames. Um, here's as you just give them your serial number if you crack them, uh, and they will replace those for you. Now, I did see on their website, uh, this is the space grade uh, carbon. Um, due to the limited availability of this, if you do crack this, uh, they said that they may give you the normal style carbon. They may not have any more cut. It, it will be identical, It'll be the three inch bottom plate, um, but it may not be the space grade carbon. What else? Yeah, it's got the aluminum protection there. It's got some good camera protection. If you're familiar with the uh, Chameleon and the uh, Brewster, it looks kind of like a baby of those uh, front and back. There is um, like a little rubber piece grommet. Now I've seen other people, I believe Nick Burns had one and he did not run this piece uh, and he was getting interference there, I guess with the aluminum and the uh, antenna. So I made sure to put that in there. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a, it's a stout frame. I love the top mount battery. Um, love the tiny Hawk freestyle. This is just more premium parts. I mean, yeah, we use some other, the JHEMCU and the, uh, happy model of uh, VTX. But other than that, it's some premium parts compared to, you know, the tiny Hawk, the tiny Hawk, uh, freestyle is, uh, and Freestyle 2 are only 2S. I think they're only like 5 amp ESC. This is 20 amp. So you know I can run 4S on this if need be. I mean, I, I, I doubt I'll need 4S uh, with the weight. But um, yeah, I'm excited to get this one in the air and uh, see how it goes there. I'm running stock PIDs, 3.5.7. Uh, like I said, I really don't tune quads, but uh, I may give it a go on this one. Uh, I did add my rates in, a little bit more aggressive than the Betaflight default rates. So we'll see how this goes, guys. Uh, if you got any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments, uh, suggestions, feedback. It's always appreciated. Like I said, we are a new channel, um, but I do try, you know, to contribute back, give back to the community there. So let's give it a rip and see what this little guy will do.
All right, so just back from those flights. Uh, I have to say I'm pretty impressed. Uh, this was a build that I was really looking forward to. Because uh, I'm really a big fan of the top mount battery on a micro. Um, really the only other quads that I had like that are uh, the Tiny Hawk Freestyle and the Freestyle 2. Most of the other uh, micro quads I have are bottom mount. Uh, like the Twig series, um, the X Knight, uh, the Diatone Cube, um, but I really like the way this flies. It's, it feels really locked in. Um, but I started out on 3S, as you can see in the flight footage. Um, yeah, I mean I, I understand what everybody says that, that it is, you know, really peppy on 3S. Um, but the second flight. Um, was this 4S tattoo, and man, uh, it, it's like a rocket. Um, you know, once you get used to the power, um, there's really no substitute. Yeah, I mean, if you've got another some batteries charged up that are uh, 3S and you just need to burn through the packs and one of your other quads is down or you don't have it with you, yeah, all means, you know, run it on 3S. But in my opinion, this setup that I have, um, the 1106 uh, 4500 kV on the three inch prop. Um, it's a rocket. Uh, these props are the HQ uh, 3 by 1.5 by 3. Uh, I felt like that, you know, they weren't really going to be a good prop for the setup necessarily, uh, but they surprised me. So, I mean, I was getting pretty good flight time with these, um, and they have plenty of pop. You know, uh, I would like to try this out with a more aggressive prop, something like, a, I think I got some HQ 3x3x3s, maybe even run it on a bi-blade, like an HQ 3x3. Um, but this is really locked in, plenty of grip. So these low pitch, uh, they work good for this setup there. Um, the antenna, you know, I've got the antenna where it would be out of the props there. I think it may still be out of the props. I may just go ahead and let it go straight out or um, I may swap it to a Foxhair lollipop. I've got a V2 lollipop. I found that those uh, aren't really that durable. I think the VC, uh, V3 series is supposed to be more durable. I haven't had a chance to test one out. They do offer them in that this fuchsia, this like lime green or um, fluorescent yellow color. They do offer a matching one. So I may go ahead and grab a couple of those. I think they're two for 20 at most retailers. I may swap that out. But first off, I'm going to go ahead and try, um, try to extend this on out. I believe Nick Burns said in his video, I don't know if he was running the 2.5 inch or the 3 inch version of the tap hole that uh, he didn't even include this piece, uh, this little plastic piece. Um, and he was getting a lot of video noise. So, I mean, I definitely installed that, but, uh, you know, I did see some lines there. I mean, yeah, this is not the most expensive VTX. I mean, it's a happy model. It's like a $9 VTX. I, got, I think I got it on sale. Uh, I think I paid like $18 for two of them. But I love the form factor. Um, it is smart audio. So, you know, like I said, I've had compatibility issues there with Tramp even being wired correctly. So I did go ahead and go with this one on this build. There's not much negative I can say. Um, this is run the stock 3.5.7 PIDs. Uh, and then I've added my rates. I'll put those up on the screen so you can take a look at those. If you want a little bit more aggressive rates, the uh, 600 degrees per second for me the stock beta flight pids uh, i'm sorry rates um, are kind of slow um so I, I like to bump them up to it's about i think it's like 909 degrees per second and i believe um i used uh emax tape on the on to secure the wires um or the you know the cloth tape it works great it's a lot cleaner than zip ties, in my opinion. Daily one, run one battery strap. Uh, it's kind of tricky to mount the battery. It, it generally works better with a longer LiPo. All I have are these uh, 
rectangular lipos uh, for the 450s. I have some 2S that are longer. I'm thinking about picking up some China Hobby Line. Um, they have a 550 uh, 3S and they have a 554 S uh, in the long st style. So that'll fit the, you know, the quad better there uh, and the traditional um, uh, linear antenna there for the crossfire, I got much better range. So this one, I mean, it never fell below 99 um, and uh, the link quality and I was only running it on 25 milliwatt dynamic power that's generally what I fly. Initially, I only flew at 10 milliwatt, but, you know, I did bump it up to 25. But, I mean, that even at 25 in my area where, you know, I'm not in the, in town where there's a lot of Wi-Fi going on there, um, it, will, it will still outfly the video uh, on 200 milliwatt. So, um, yeah. Well, guys, um, if you're thinking about getting one of these, picking it up, definitely... Uh, you know, I, I, I like it for a micro top mount. You can pick them up at Pyro. I, th I think uh, Race Tech Quads has them. Armaton, you can get them directly there. And uh, yeah, so hope this was informative. Uh, got a lot of other stuff in the works for us there. Come to the channel there. I've got another five inch build. Um, still working out the kinks uh, on the VTX. And I'm gonna have to whip up a uh, antenna mount more of a 45 degree angle. Uh, you know, I don't really like bending these uh, on the larger quads with the SMA connector. So I'm gonna have to work that out. Um, once again, had an issue with tramp protocol uh, on 3.5.7. So the VTX, uh, it's an e-sheen, um, but that's coming to the channel. It's another freestyle five inch frame. I haven't really seen a lot of those on the channel. I fly mostly micros. Um, I've got uh, a couple repairs coming up and uh, I do have another, uh, I have the ET5, the twig from Racer X. Um, that's coming to the channel soon. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. Share the video, like, comment, post your questions. I'll catch you in the next one.